so, good, so, good. so this guy, has he been trying to sell his house already and stuff, or what? No, not no, not really. It's just, so basically what this is. Uh, this is a friend of mine from a friend of mine from high school. You know, I uh, live here in town still, and uh, they uh, reached out to me and said, "Hey, I know you do real estate. Um, we got a friend trying to you know, sell a house. Can you can you talk to him?" I was like. That was about it. And I was like, well, uh, oh, yeah, I'd rather do that. That's yeah. how I like my type right. of stuff. I don't want them messing up nothing, no. saying too much, none of that. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So I was like, yeah, it's like, you know, uh, I reached out to the guy, I said, hey, I can, I can talk to you, help you. Just FYI, I'm not an agent, so I'm not going to charge you. I'm not going to charge you any fees or anything to help you out. As a matter of fact, you know, I don't, uh, I don't, uh, I don't charge you anything. You know, I don't charge you anything. And, uh, you know, whether, whether I can help you or not, I'm not going to charge you anything. Just letting him know that there's, you know, no reason not to talk to me. I so, like that. Uh, he's like, yeah. That's yeah. The, that's that, like, that, well, I, I might steal that pitch from you, Rich. I don't know. That's yeah, right. kind of good. I won't charge you nothing. I'm going to try to help you out. I won't charge you nothing. <laughs> that's right. Exactly, man. Exactly. Um, so, uh, yeah, so we talk, and, and basically, long story short, was he, well, I think he bought this with a girlfriend and I guess within like a month or two of them moving in it was freaking just a disaster and so you know I guess she moved out and he's he's held he, I guess the, the house is in his name that the girlfriend moved in with and, you know that was the whole reason he bought the house he's from on, I thought he was from the Illinois side maybe not but um okay. he uh so basically he just went out he's like it's, it's, a, it's a nightmare living situation and, and I didn't want you know I don't want it I've got a person there now just so it's not vacant, so it's just basically covering the rent. Um, and, you know, so he's owned it for about a year. Um, he's got like so a, is his a pain, the, is his pain more so, seems like, making that payment, or is it more so of he don't want to manage property with tenants, or is it, I mean, what is his real pain, or have you been able to discover it? Yeah, he just went out. I mean, I think it's just a painful situation, personal situation. Like having that house reminds him of that, you know, that horrible relationship. And he just he wants nothing to do with this house at all. He basically just wants to, you know, walk his walk out, not even, you know, wash his hands of it, and walk out as long as he can break even kind of thing. So and the only thing that seemed like it might be something that may hold up something is possibly the tenant being in there, you know, but I don't know. I, I guess we can cross that bridge when we get to it. You say there's a right. renter and they're paying, what are they paying here? They're paying 1200 in rent, um, and the monthly, is monthly payment, which includes tax and insurance, is 1120 so it basically clears 80, it clears 80 bucks a month. And that ain't enough to even cover maintenance and repairs when it come up. Right. So what is um? Right. It, how, how long have they been in there? They've been in there a while, or they just kind of just got in? Uh, a little bit. I'm trying to remember if he said. Can't remember if he said it was six months or nine months. I hope it's six months because we can help them then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because no I want to get that renter out of there. You know, that's you know that's yeah. how I look at these deals. Get the I don't want a renter. We want a tenant buyer in there because right. we don't want to be messing with right. no uh, maintenance, repairs, property management, and all right. that other wacky stuff. Exactly. And, you know, Chris, if you, I mean, if it's something that you want to be able to, I mean, you can do, you know, if it looks like you, you'd like to do it, then add it to your portfolio, man. Just, just talk to me, bird dog, you know, that's all I need. But, but uh, I don't have to, I just, you know, I, I would love to sit, you know, like I said, work this with you up to the point of where I'm kind of learning what kind of things you're talking to them about and, and that kind of stuff. Because, like, I've, I've admitted, I, this is, this is a huge weakness in my game. You know, well, we about um, to get yeah, you strong. Yeah. Don't worry about that. We yeah. putting, we getting some reps <laughs> in. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. We going for the max. We're going for the reps. <laughs> yeah. So that's the only thing, you know, that's why I say, what is his real pain point? We can relieve him of all that pain. Uh, you know, yeah. long as we figure out something to do, one, with that tenant, and two, um, right. he's okay with that loan stand and his name temporarily, we can probably work something out with him. Anything beyond that, sure. we can handle it. So we can give him a call yeah. if you're ready. All right, man. Let me. Uh, you want you want me you you want to call on your end? You want me to give you the number? No, you can call him. You can call him on three way. Okay, I didn't know. If, I didn't know if your your system or whatever over there. I didn't know if you needed to call it. Okay, cool. Hold on one second here. Let me add you in. I have a call. What up, everybody? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it a share on the replay. You can't share it in the Woke Real Estate Investment Group, but when I put it on the replay, share that mug. Like that mug. Tag somebody in that thug. Hey, happy Tuesday to you. We're going to do a closing call potentially right now. So get your pens and your papers ready, baby. Time to go down. He called them on the other end right now. 
What up, Ayla? What up, Angelo B? Closing some deals. We finna find out. What's up, Virginia? We finna find out. He calling on a three-way. Let's see if we can make something out of this. I don't know. We finna try to make lemonade out of lemons. Squeeze some juice. Are you there? Yep. Chris, okay, cool. I got Vince on the phone. Hey, Vince, this is Chris. How are you today? Yeah, well, how are you? Pretty good, pretty good. So, yeah, um, Rich was telling me a little bit about the house you're trying to sell up there. And so um, I was just, we were just trying to, you know, get get in, uh, get, get back with you, see if we can work something out to where it's a win-win situation for you. Um, I did have yeah. a question for you. Um, there's some tenants in there now. Uh, how long were they, uh -huh. uh, are they planning on staying there? Are they supposed to be in for a certain amount of time or something like that? Um, their one-year lease ends uh, in September, so they have till, through August. Okay, and do you know if they are planning on staying or they want to uh, move out or you don't have a clue yet? Um, I haven't offered them anything and we haven't talked about it yet. It's one of those things that I guess if I decide I'm not going to re-up it, then I'll let them know like next month or something. So September, so they got about, what's this, May, June, July, August, September, four months. That'll go by real quick, won't it? All right, and so... Yeah, well, I mean, they've got, they've got three months, because, I mean, they'd have to be out by September 1st. Okay, okay, and they've been pretty good tenants so far and stuff, I guess? They've been they've been fantastic tenants. I literally almost never hear from them. Um, the only time I've heard from them was when there was a leak in the roof um, from the hailstorm that we had, like, two weeks ago, and I got that fixed up already. Oh, okay. Um, they didn't do any major damage, I that. guess? No, it just made it to where there was a little leak, and then... I had uh, roofers go out there, they checked out the roof, said uh, and any damage it had, and I had it repaired for about $800 last Thursday. Oh, wow. So, so you had to come out of pocket for that? Uh, I mean, I've been I've been saving a little bit of their rent, so yeah. and luckily that kind of paid for it. Wow. So they ate up all the little bit of profit you tried to make, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So that can, uh, you know, that can happen when you, you know, have those houses. That's the only thing with that. So um, basically, um, what, how do you see everything playing out? What would be the best case scenario for you in this whole situation? Honestly, if I could just walk away with it not owing anything. I don't even care about making money. I just don't own anything. So basically what you're saying is you're willing to sell it for what you owe on it? Pretty much. I mean, if so long as it covers, like, taxes and everything, and then I can pull my fridge out of it. I know that. Oh, you got uh, a refrigerator fridges. in there that you want to keep? Yeah, well, I bought a $3,000 refrigerator for the place. Oh. Because uh, originally, originally I was going to be where I lived, but things didn't really turn out well, so. <laughs> so that must be one of those nice stainless steel ones, double door, triple door or something. Yeah, uh, double door, Samsung. Oh, wow. Yeah, nicer than mine. So I can understand that. So, yeah. So we can definitely, um, you know, uh, so the house, I guess, is livable because somebody's living in there. There's not really much deferred maintenance or anything that you're aware of that the house still needs? No, a lot of it. Um, so I was the third owner of the house. The first owner, original old lady, was, uh, had it built. Um, then I guess she had a boyfriend or something and moved out of it and sold it to a dude who did a whole bunch of renovations, fixed up a lot of the systems in it. And then he turned around and sold it to me. Mm. And how long have you had so it for? It was, um, just over a year. Oh, okay. So it's still it pretty all, new to you. Yeah, right? it was one of those things. Yeah, okay. Huh? Perfect, perfect. So we are definitely interested in buying it. Um, the only thing is, um, so we can buy your house. Uh, the only thing is the loan would have to stay in your name temporarily for a period of time until we can get it cashed out in the future. Uh, basically, we would take over the payments that you would have going to the bank that uh, eleven twenty a month that covers the principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. We would be 100% responsible for all of the maintenance, repairs, uh, you know, any other leaks that pop up like the one that just popped up a couple of weeks ago. You wouldn't have to deal with any of that stuff. It would relieve you of all the responsibility of dealing with that house in pretty much every way. Um, is that something you would be open to? Um, I mean, as long as I had everything in writing, it shows the proof that you are the one taking care of this and I expected all that. Definitely. So, so, so basically, how it would work is just like a traditional sale. We would write up a purchase and sales agreement. We close the deal through a real estate attorney or through the title company here. Um, they draw up all the documents and do a traditional closing. Like I said, the only thing is the loan will stay in your name for a period of time. Other than that, everything else you won't have to deal with that house whatsoever. I mean, that that would that work for you? You think? Um. So, like, what kind of period? 
period of time we're looking at. So basically what we do is we help people uh, get qualified for loans. Uh, they, they basically may have a little bit of time of, uh, say they have a low credit score or time on a job or maybe their debt to income ratio is out of whack. With a little bit of help from us, we help them raise their score, get approved so that they can get their own mortgage, and they go cash it out at that time. And they cash us out, cash you out, and everything. But in the meantime and in between time, you don't have to do anything in regards to that house anymore. We relieve you of, like I said, all of the maintenance, repairs, tenant problems. Whatever goes on with that house, you won't get a call from us because we will actually be buying a house. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, so that's it's, it's definitely it's something we do all the time. We actually have done it a few times for people to stop them from actually having their house foreclosed on from the bank and different situations like that. A lot of people don't even know that other options are available other than just you know putting it on the MLS and praying that somebody wants it. We can buy the house pretty easily, and uh, you know we can make it a smooth transaction for you. So it, it would work out pretty easy. And uh, yeah, I don't really, I don't really think it'd be a problem as long. I mean, I'd like to be in person, kind of talk over a little bit more. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's not a problem. I'd kind of like to see what your paperwork would look like and physically see the wording and everything. Because, it, it, again, it's, it's kind of like how your partner is saying, um, you guys do some creative things, and I just want to see it for myself and have it double-checked on my end. Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, we, like I said, we close the deal through a real estate attorney and through the title company here. And so that's why we make sure that everybody's protected in the deal. All disclosures are signed off. You know, that there's no surprises. There's no sneaky stuff or, you know, nothing like that. So everything is done. You know, like I said, we close through a third party so that you're protected in the deal and we're protected in the deal. Does that make sense? Okay. Yep. 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 So um, other than that, uh, did you have any other questions for me? Uh, not particularly. Not at, this, not at this time, at least. Okay. So basically, like I said, what we would have to do, uh, if this was something that you would consider, uh, we would drop a purchase and sales agreement. Uh, we would send it over to you. It just basically says you agree to sell us the house. We agree to buy the house. We turn it into the title company. They do their title search and everything, and then they uh, set up a closing time for us. Now, if we're able to work all of this out, how soon would you like to close? Um. You'd have to let me give uh, time to talk to my tenants real quick, just so they're aware of everything. Um, but otherwise, I mean, I'm not really, I'm not really trying to hold on to them very much longer. So as long as everything kind of goes well and I just kind of talk it over, uh, then it'd probably be pretty quick. Yep. So I mean, we can close when you're ready. I mean, that's how easy these deals are. A lot of people don't know that, you know. Uh, they can be just done. You know, we, we turn in that paperwork, like I said. They set up us a closing date, usually in a week or two or something like that, sometimes a little longer depending on what's going on. And uh, we close the deal up, and uh, we relieve you of all the, the pain of that house because the house can definitely be a pain. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, very much so. Yeah, so so that's, that's, that's definitely an option that will work for you. Um, other than that, did you have any other questions or anything? Uh, just um, if you guys can like kind of send me the paperwork you guys talking about just so I can kind of read it over. Sure. So that's fine. So yeah, so what we'll do is draw up the purchase and sales agreement and you say you owe about a 148 approximately? Uh, 1,004, uh, yeah, 148, eight. That was the buyout process last time I looked at it. Okay. And your payment is about 1120 per month. That includes the principal, interest, taxes, and insurance? Yes. And then are there any HOA fees or anything in the area? No, there's not any HOAs. Okay, great, great. So, yep. So, other than that, I think we have everything we need for here. Um, other than that, uh, we'll get that paperwork drafted up for you um, and send it over to you. Uh, did you have any questions or anything, Rich? Perfect. Yeah, Perfect. and as far as, like, meeting face-to-face, -face, uh, when, when would you like to do something like that? Uh, honestly, except for Friday, I'm open up to do it whenever we need to. Okay. Okay, yeah, why don't you uh, look over everything that we're going to send over to you and everything, and, and obviously, if you have any questions, let us know, and, and then we can obviously meet face-to-face -face and, and see so if you can put, you know, names of faces and, <laughs> and, uh, and see that we're the real deal and, and so we're not, you know, and, we're, I, you know, the Malikans wouldn't have, wouldn't have told you to talk to me if, if they didn't believe in me, so I'd, right. I know you're going to, yeah, you, you hopefully I know that's already one leg up, so 
But uh, that's all I had, really. Um, I don't know about you, Chris. How about you, Chris? Yeah, that's pretty much it. And also, uh, Vince, I'll go. I'll send you uh, my website so you can do a little background check, research, whatever you want on us to make sure everything's legit. All you'll see is a bunch of happy people that they worked with us and like, man, they saved the day with the cape on. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Other than that, uh, we'll get that set up for you and get it over to you, okay? Okay, thank you very much. All right, perfect. Thanks for your time, Ben. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Goodbye. He hung up all together. Boom! What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? This is the student master teacher, Mr. I Stay Woke, Chris Monroe, and I'm right back at you with another real estate video. Today's video is being brought to you by WokeSkipTracing.com. Look up names, email addresses, in a snap. Only pay for the match. As low as 15 cents per match, not per search, per match. WokeSkipTracing.com. That's woke. SkipTracing.com. Pull the pain. That's right. That's what we did, Angelo. Let's see here. Right? He sounded like he about to cry when he said very much so. That's right. You got to pull that pain like pulling teeth. Cry on my shoulder as you sign this agreement. I know that's right. Let's see. I hear the pain in his voice. Y'all ain't no joke, huh? What's up, Mikey Mo? What up, Quentin? What up? What up, Stephen Flowers? What's up, Shante? What's up, everybody? Derek Hibbler in the house. Bobby Blue, what up? All y'all in here watching. What's up? What's up? What's up? So did you, what did y'all think about that call? Say Chris is like the Dr. Seuss of real estate. <laughs> Dr. Seuss. Got them rhymes for him all the time for him. That's right. So did y'all have any questions or anything about what we just went through right there? Did that all make sense to you? So basically this house will be bought um, probably subject to the existing financing. Uh, they owed about, let me see here, 148 eleven twenty dollars a month. It's a tenant in there. So the only thing that kind of throws a monkey wrench in this is a tenant in it. I mean, it doesn't kill the deal, but we'll see. Here's Rich calling back. This call is being recorded for quality and training purposes. What's up, Rich? Well, dang, that was smooth, wasn't it? Make, I make it look easy, don't I? Are you there, Chris? Yeah, I make it look hey, easy, Chris, huh? Are you there? Yeah, yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm going to try it again. I don't hear you, buddy. Uh -oh. I hear you. Can you hear me? Can you I'll hear give me? Give me a second. Try to figure it out. If not, you can hang up on me. Well, I'll hang up on you. Call you back. Hang up and call right back. Hang them up and call them right back. E. What's up, Glenn? Maybe I'll call back too quick. Virginia says, when there's pain, there's nothing you can say wrong. Period. LOL. Just get rid of it. And that's what I want to do for him. But how he going to call back when I'm calling him back? We all calling each other. While I'm live streaming on my other phone. While I'm at home. Boom. got a phone issue. Let's hang up. I'll let him try to call me first. Doing big things. That's right. Big things popping. Hey, hey. Another homeowner may be helped. So like I was saying, the only thing that may throw a monkey wrench in this deal is the tenant. You got a renter in there, and I typically don't like to do tenants. I like tenant buyers. I like tenant buyers do a non-refundable down payment or option consideration the paperwork always says option consideration the paperwork will never say uh, deposit we don't do any deposits we want a non-refundable option consideration it's your option to exercise if you don't exercise the option it's on you when we rent it out on a tenant buyer but on a renter as you see he just had to come out of 800 bucks a minute ago let me see let me try to call him back again Phone doing some work. Yep, wokeskiptracing.com. Wokeskiptracing.com. That's the site. You know, we got to do a show together for show, Glenn. 
Just tell me when. I'm nerd, man. Hey, Chris. Yeah, can you hear me now, Rich? Yeah, I can hear you now, buddy. Great, great. I don't know what was going on there. Technology trying to stop us from being great. I know, man. It's like, no, no, that was too smooth. <laughs> yeah, so, so so did that sound hard, just breaking it down in plain English? I didn't no, use man. the words subject no. to, wrap around mortgage, no. none of that stuff. Right. No, it didn't at all, man. It was, it was a lot smoother than I thought. You know, I tried that one time, one time a long time ago. I probably had been doing this for about two years at the time. I uh, talked to a guy. And I was like, yeah, you know, you can get to where I can, I can take over payments for you and whatever. And I didn't, I figured, well, if he said, yeah, if he was agreed to it, I'll find, I'll find it. I'll find the paperwork. I'll find the contracts. But uh, he was like, well, I don't know. He, he actually he said yes at first. He was like, yeah, that sounds really good, actually. Um, go ahead and send it over. And, he, and I was uh, digging around looking for something. He called me about 30 minutes later and said, man, I'm just really, I'm just really skeptical about everything staying in my name for a while. I'm like, oh. Well, see, that's the thing. Everything is not staying in their loan. See, that's why I like to ask those questions and make sure I touch every kind of objection they're going to hit me with. That, oh, oh well, right. I, don't, I don't like everything staying in my name. Well, everything won't be staying in your name. Everything actually goes in our name. The only thing that stays in your name uh-huh. is that loan temporarily for a period of time. And I don't even go into that unless they ask. If they ask, that's then I go into detail like I did. We're talking about what we do to help stabilize the property, cash it out, all of that, yada, yada after they bring that right. objection. But if they don't object, I don't even go into that spill. Because some people simply don't yeah. care. They're just glad you're taking it off their hand. Right. True. True. And that's, also, that's probably that's where I goofed up. You know, by, not, by telling them it was, it was all staying in his name instead of, uh, instead of him, uh, you know, it wasn't. It yeah. wasn't because I didn't know it enough. That exactly. The words that come out of your mouth have a direct reflection on what goes into that bank account. You can't say too much to them because you say the wrong thing and they get spooked. Like, huh? Yep. Yep. And I didn't even really pitch it right. I meant to say I meant to say it totally different the way I was saying it. I usually start off with oh, right? we closed through a real estate attorney. But I didn't even bring that up until he raised that objection. To say, well, I don't know. Right. Da, da, da. Well, we do close our deals through a real estate attorney or through the title company here. Which is really both, you know. But uh right. Right. The attorney sounds more powerful, and the the, the title company does have a attorney on staff anyway, and they're going to review all of this sure. either way. So, yeah, so yep. perfect. So yeah, True. so yep, that's how we do awesome. it, man. Just do them like awesome. that. Yeah, that, that was sweet. That was really sweet, man. I appreciate you letting me get on that call. I'd love to be on be on another call. I know you post a bunch of my stuff, but uh, maybe I'll just do it that way. But you know, if you want to let me know, just. In case I miss it, would you post one or something? If you got another one, I'd love to just kind of listen on a couple more, just make sure I got it down. Because I mean, it, it, it makes sense. I mean, it's simple. It's just I think, like I said, I, I mean, it's simple. Uh, it's just uh, the whole hey, the paperwork. You know, to have the right paperwork and, and all that kind of stuff. You know, exactly. It can be complex. So really, the main thing right now is a purchase and sales agreement, just to say we're going to buy the house. And the second document I need signed right now is an authorization to release information, so we can get the exact payoff gotcha. information from the mortgage company. Other than that, all okay. the other closing documents and all that other riffraff is signed off at right. closing. I don't have to present these okay. disclosures and all of this other stuff. And that's another mistake that I see a lot of people make. They try to have them sign 40 papers at the first meeting. That's right. too much. It's too much for them. Right. <laughs> you got to drip it on them. Drip. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And he's like, well, I want to make sure I meet up with you guys and meet you face to face and talk to you. And so, sure. I get it. I get it. I yeah, love to meet him. I want to shake his hand, even though the coronavirus out here. I ain't scared. Right, right, exactly. I want to give him a hug. I'm going to give him a hug. No, I'm just playing. Exactly. I know. I got a hazmat suit on. I'm going to give you a hug. Exactly. So, yeah, so this actual um, call was recorded, and it's actually, we're live on Facebook in the Woke Real Estate Investors Group. So you can go back and play it if you want to to hear it. So if, okay. if to see how it sounded and everything. And, like, you know, we post up a lot of them on the YouTube channel as okay. well. Okay. Awesome, man. I really, pre- really do appreciate it. We appreciate you stepping up and, and being interested in it, man. So yeah. let's get it done, and, and that'd be awesome, man. We'll see what we can pull out of this. If he's reasonable and, and cooperative, we can make something happen out of this deal. Right, right. Perfect, perfect. All right, awesome, Rich, buddy. I'll talk to you later. Hey, thanks, Rich. You have a good night. All right, you too. All right, bye. Boom. Y'all silly. What's up, Tasha Mack? Renee, you say, what's up, Chris? Can't wait to get my hat. You ain't get that hat yet? Let me see something. That hat should have been to you. Or did it ship out already? Because, you know, we make them as you go. I don't know. Did you get one to say, I buy houses? Or did you customize it and make it say something different? 
Let me see here. Um, what was that? Where do I check that at? I don't even know. Is that bad when I don't even know? So yeah, you can get your hat like this to say, I buy houses. Or you can get the visor. You can get the visor. If you like visors. And they're all adjustable. Check it out. WokeRealEstate.com. Go to the shop page. WokeRealEstate.com. And go to the page. To go to where it says, I want to shop. Boom. And you can shop right there. Get you some cool gear. Contracts, cool gear, and coaching. That's right. That's right. Let's see here. Yeah, let me check your hat real quick, if I can. Any questions or anything from you all? Did you all understand everything that happened in that deal? Oh, yeah, you can customize the visor. You can make it say, Renee buys houses. Whatever you want it to say, you can customize it, exactly. Oh, my gosh, here we go with this thing. How do I get caught in a CAPTCHA? CAPTCHA. Uh, sign in. Let me see, your hat should have been, let me see active being fulfilled let me see here um yeah you should have it uh, let's see here fulfillment was started so yeah it should be there in about say three to four days i guess so yeah you should be getting it soon Let's see here. I bet I have to get another one then. There you go. You didn't know you can customize it. So, yeah. So, in regards to that deal, like I said, we're going to try to lock it up. Lock them up. Lock them up. We're going to put them under contract for what he owes on it, the 148. Um, you know what? I never even checked the ARV of that property. I think it's close to what he owes on it. Um, Yeah, it's a it's really no equity in the deal, really. He it's worth about what he owes on it, from what I can tell. Matter of fact, let me pull up. You want to see what the house look like? I know y'all like pictures. You want to see what it look like? Or no? Nah? Or no? Nah? That is the right house, right? Let me see here. Let me let y'all see what it look like. How nice it is. Little brick house. Look, three bedroom, two bath. That's what it looked like. Open floor plan. Big, I guess that's a dining room or something. Nice big white kitchen. All white everything. That's that, that's that. Cute little kitchen. I like that kitchen and stuff. I see why I say he wanted his refrigerator back. He got that stainless stove and stainless steel stuff in there. He want this stuff back. This is a nice house. Hell, I'm moving there myself. Sometimes you look at these houses like, wait a minute. Do I need to move in there? Fireplace? What more you want? That bathroom is all right. I mean, it's not modern, but it'll get the job done. The toilet will flush. What more you want out of a bathroom? It looks like it got a stand-up shower in the other one. So, yeah, carpeted room. Nice little cute house right there. And this one, it was on the MLS. Cute house, huh? So, yep, that's the house we're trying to buy subject to existing financing. Look like they flipped it already, yeah. They put money into it, fixing it up. They cared for it. Now, these are the best deals because what could it need when it's already hooked up like that? All I got to do is either continue that. You say, donate that house to you. Ha <laughs> ha, Virginia, get out of here. So, two things. Uh, like I say, they can mess this deal. They really won't mess up the deal. That tenant, as long as that tenant is cooperative in either one, changing over to become a tenant buyer, or two, moving out so I can install a tenant buyer. I don't want a renter. Even though they've been good and they only got about three or four months left on their more, on their uh, lease, I would still buy it, you know, as is, me personally. Because I ain't scared, man. I'm a risk taker, man. Buy the house. I mean, how many $150,000 houses you can buy, you know, for a few thousand? I mean, this might cost me thirty five. dollars four thousand dollars or so after paying out for the lead source and everything maybe cost about four grand out of pocket how many hundred and thirty five thousand a hundred and fifty dollar how many one hundred and fifty thousand dollar houses could you buy for under five thousand with financing in place and that rent for twelve hundred i probably can get that lease optioned out for more than twelve hundred i think i can get 13 maybe who knows plus the other big elephant in the room when i switch it from the 
uh, policy that it's on, depending on what kind he has. If he has a owner occupied policy still, because some people don't switch it over because they don't know. When I install it, a tenant buyer, or whenever we buy it, I'm going to switch it to a non owner occupied insurance policy, which will be cheaper than the one they're paying, which will reduce that eleven twenty a month going out. It might drop it down to a thousand. Because some of these owner occupied policies might be $120, $100 a month, but a non owner occupied policy is usually like $40, $50 a month, depending on how much you got. So let me see here. Renee says, I'm speaking to a seller that fixed it up already. What are they asking for? It is almost market price. So, yeah, they're asking what they owe on it. He owes about that much. He owes about $148,000. They just bought the house a year ago. So, you know, they haven't did anything to that mortgage. That's the only thing kind of downside about it. You still got 29 years on a mortgage. Matter of fact, let me see. Is it a 30-year mortgage? I didn't even ask him about that. Let me check something here. Uh, yeah, 360 months. Ain't that 30 years? 30 years, baby. So, yeah. Bro, is it possible to do a creative deal if a property has a mortgage and needs work? It is possible to do a creative deal as long as you have, one, a seller, and two, a buyer. That's really all you need. How you structure the deal comes back down to deal structuring and things like that. So, yeah, you can definitely do that. You can buy a house on terms and sell a house on terms. That's all I'm doing. Buying it on terms, get a great deal from a seller, and pass a good deal on to a buyer. The same thing you're doing when you're wholesaling. That's the same thing you're doing when you're doing wraparound mortgages and lease options and subject twos. Same stuff. You got to find a, a true deal that has some value somewhere. It don't have to be the price all the time. We can pay the price. That's not the problem. We want that payment low enough. And like we already got somebody in there paying $1,200. Even if they said, all right, we'll stay and we'll do um, a little bit more, maybe $1,250 or even stay at $1,200. And they uh, be responsible for all of their own maintenance and repairs. Don't they, that's all I want to do. I don't want to have the maintenance repairs. I want the cash flow for sure, and I want the house. So that's what we want. What about the deals that do a total rehab? How does that work? You can't buy them for that much. Even if it needs a total rehab, you can still only pay so much for these properties. You have to still do a formula to figure out what you can pay for. Um, you can pay so much on cash, which is usually the best way to do those. But if you don't, you don't have to do them all cash. You can do them on terms instead of going and using a hard money lender at fifteen percent or whatever they're charging, eighteen percent. You can finance it through the seller themselves, unless they have a mortgage. If they do have a mortgage, you can take over those payments of that mortgage while you fix up the house. You buy the house subject to fix up the house. And then sell it on the MLS or whatever you plan on doing with it from that point. But you're going to need capital to do all of that. When you get into the fixing part, somebody's going to have to bring the money to fix it up. Whether it's you as the person that brought the deal or some end cash buyer or some end buyer that understands this stuff, that understand they're getting a house with financing. Wouldn't that be more appealing to you to buy a house with financing already? It's one thing to get a house that just, I'm going to buy a house for cash. I'm going to buy a house this. How about buying one with financing in place? Wouldn't that be more appealing to a buyer? Wouldn't you want to buy a house with financing already? You would. So how many other people would? Because you got to remember, 76% of the marketplace cannot qualify for a loan. Maybe more after this wrong. It might be 80%. Cannot qualify for a loan. So everybody thinking that the price is everything. Price is one thing. Don't get me wrong. But the terms is everything. Terms is king. People say cash is king, but I don't think so in real estate. I think great terms is king. Thanks, brother. Let's see what you're saying here. Thanks, brother. I got a lead today. ARV is 350 Has 120 mortgage. Needs 40 can repairs. That's a wholesale deal. 350k ARV, 120 mortgage needs 40k. What's that? 180 plus cost, maybe 200 all in, depending on what the seller want. Yeah, that's a wholesale deal. But if you can do it on terms, even better. What does the seller want? See, that's the question. If you can make that seller happy and make some end buyer happy, and you get money in the middle, that's where you make an add value. That's where value is added. So would you just sell it to a sub to as an investor to an investor? Um, you can do that, but I wouldn't necessarily want to sell it subject to to an investor. I would rather sell it on a wrap because I want to be able to foreclose on them in the event they don't act right. I don't I mean, because, you know, when you do a subject to that's a lot of responsibility, because remember, a subject to a seller has no recourse. They cannot foreclose on you when they sell their house subject to they will never get that house back unless you give it back. Because they're going to deed that house over to you or your trust, depending on how you take title. They're giving their house away for all intents and purposes. So I, it's really not good to even have people sell their house on the subject to. It's better to buy on a wrap.
depending on your exit strategy. So, good question there, Virginia. Let's see here. That makes sense. I might have to partner with someone on this deal. Yeah, definitely. Partnerships is everything. Your net worth is your net worth, right? Something like that. Well, we've been on 35 minutes. So, yeah, did y'all have any other questions, comments, concerns before I roll? Don't forget, we're going live this Monday night with the fire damage king, Elijah Rubin, on Monday, May 18th, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern. We're going to be chopping it up with him, talking about those fire damage properties. The following week, we're on talking about probate with Law Clerk on Demand, Deanna Britt out of Atlanta, talking about those probates. That's the 25th of May. Following that, the week after that, June 1st, we're on with the Mobile Home Elite Investors. That's right. They're coming on talking about those mobile homes. We're going to be on with them June 1st, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern. Uh, what do we got? The 15th of June, we're on with Yana Epps talking about apartment investing, making millions with multifamily. She's going to be coming on, dropping some major value for us as well. We definitely want to pick the brains of the experts out here. Um, the following week, I don't know, what is that? The 22nd, I think we're on with Andrea Stakes talking about virtual assistants. We're bringing on heavy hitters coming up in the month of May and June. So make sure you're tuned in right here wherever you're watching it at. Because I know right now we're watching it in the Woke Real Estate Investment Group, but we're going to probably repost this on YouTube because it was such good content. I like I don't like to waste my good content. I like to make sure that you're getting it. Receive it. All right? Um, and then the following week, what do we got? After that, we just booked in Andy on the 29th. Um, yeah, Andy talking about credit. We're going to be on with her the 29th of June. So as you see, we got a lot of nice stuff coming up. Just ask Andy on IG. We'll be on with her on the 29th of June. Just got her booked in. Yep, just ask Andy. So that's how we're going to do that. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. Any more questions? He said he got offered 220 today but wants a little more. So that's why I asked about creative finance. This property has a lot of potential. Owner just wants the highest offer. He's tired of landlording. Yeah, I mean, you can offer him that. You can offer him 221 if he take these terms, which are this. You know what good terms are to me, right? Little or nothing down, low monthly payments, and as long as period of time as I can possibly get. That's what I'm looking for. Little or nothing down, low monthly payments for a long period of time. That's where wealth is made in this business. How do you think you're going to get rich? Wholesaling? You can get rich doing it, but you won't get wealthy. You got to get wealthy, hold some of those properties and avoid those taxes because, you know, those taxes is your largest expense. You'll find that out when you start getting some bread. Virginia says, Chris, you're the bomb. No, you're the bomb, Virginia. Elijah, my guy, I need to be on that probate call, too. Yep. You need to send us a schedule of these so we can write it down. So, yeah, it's actually posted up. It's on the YouTube channel at Chris Monroe STL. Just look on there and it shows you the upcoming lives at Chris Monroe STL. In fact, I will be posting. I think maybe today. Maybe I will post that today, the links to all the videos that are coming up. We don't even have them all set up online yet, though. I just wanted to let y'all know. Heavy hitters are on the way. And if you want to be notified of these streams as they happen, all you got to do is text JV to 31996. That'll get you the notification right in your phone whenever we go live on those Monday nights. Text the keyword JV to 31996. Text JV to 31996, and you'll get the uh, notification of when we go live. Thanks, bro, for giving us this free game. No problem, Angelo. You're getting money notifications, Chris. Ching, ching, all the time. Yeah, somebody is chinging over here on my other phone. Let me see what they're talking about. Somebody trying to buy something tomorrow for 100 bucks that I bought for $15. See, I've been flipping stuff before I got into real estate. I bought these bar stools for 15 bucks, and they're buying them for 100 bucks. Let me see. You want to see what they look like? Let me let you see them if I can. I got too many moving parts in here. Um, dang, where'd she go? Oh, she on Facebook. That's why. I was looking in the wrong thing. She want to get them delivered. I was going to see if I can fit one in my back seat and also a measurement and length if possible. It's on the post, dumb dumb. So let me let you see what these nice ones look like. Oh, man, I can't get to it. How do I do that? See, I was going to show you what they look like. Um, let's see here. See details. Is that how I do it? 
I hope so. So much of a hustler. I'm a hustler, homie. You a customer crony. So that's these nice little bar stools right here, if you can see them. Kind of cute, ain't they? Bought them for 15 bucks. For both of them. 15 bucks total. And we're going to sell them tomorrow for 100 So that's an $85 profit. On something that was, you know, how much time did it take? How much space did it take up? Let me see if I can make the picture bigger. Yeah, there we go. So you can actually see it. How that look to you? Cool, cool. So that's that. And I already sold those nice stands behind it. If you can see those little nice stands behind it. Those ones, I don't know, those two pair of nice stands behind those chairs. Those I bought at a, not at an auction. I bought them at an estate sale for 40 bucks. Guess what somebody gave me for them nice stands? 275 baby. Bought them for 45 sold them for 275 So I've been flipping stuff. You know what I mean? You know, this real estate money is nice money. But I'm used to that, that money where you're making five and ten times your return on your money. For a $45 investment to get back two seventy five. Let me see. What's the profit on that? Two seventy five minus forty five. And I held them about a week and a half, two weeks. I made two hundred thirty dollars on that one product. That's flipping stuff, baby. I don't want to let you know too much about that. So that's what we do in our spare time for fun. So let me see here. Answer any more questions. Was that call with one of your students? No, that was with Rich Groves. We do the, uh, that Zoom call every other week on Tuesdays. Is that next week? Yeah, next week we'll be doing a Zoom call with him, as a matter of fact. 6 o'clock Central Time, we do the Hooties House Buyers Club Zoom call with Rich Groves every other Tuesday. Real Estate Networking Event. You can uh, plug in if you go to stlviplist.com. You can actually be notified of when we do that. You can actually participate and get the link to the Zoom stlviplist.com that'll get you that notification you can actually participate or you can just watch it right here on the woke real estate investing group or you can watch it on youtube at chris monroe stl or any of the other stations all right let's see yes those are his students if you're going to coach a program he will walk you through his deals that's right we'll walk you through let's see here look at you get it do you have some e-commerce business or something so yes i do i sell on ebay Craigslist, Offer Up, Facebook, Let Go, you name it, we're there, baby. Etsy, EstateSales.net, we're on all the sites. We got stuff. I got over 10,000 items for sale. Can you believe that? 10,000 items. That's a lot of stuff, ain't it? How much stuff do you need before you say that's too much? Y'all got me going all the way down the rabbit hole talking about, real, talking about uh, this resale stuff. So that, that'll get you a few little dollars in your pocket to help you out. If you're not want to, you know, you're like, I just need to make a few bucks. So like this is something we picked up yesterday. Nice little futon right there. Brand, they only had it for a month. Brand new, basically. Basically new. Nice little futon right there. Money making machine, baby. You knew it. So I'm going to put that up for like $175 or so. I bought that for 50 bucks. <gasps> 50 bucks, so I'm going to make triple on that, maybe. Maybe a little more if somebody want to pay extra for a delivery or something. But there's money, y'all, in this game, man. Ain't no reason to be sitting up being broke. Don't be broke. Keep up hope and definitely stay woke. All right? So I'm going to let y'all go. I supposed to have been off here a long time ago. What time is it? 7 o'clock? After 7 o'clock. All right, so like I said, don't forget to follow me on all social media outlets at Chris Monroe STL. That's Snapchat, that's Twitter, that's Instagram, that's YouTube. The YouTube channel has over 180 free real estate training videos. Or go to WokeRealEstate.com to access everything. WokeRealEstate.com. Everything you need from the Ruta to the Tuta in real estate. All right, so hopefully y'all have yourself a great rest of the day. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it a share. Tag a buddy. Even if you're watching on the replay, leave a smart comment. Say, hey, man, that ain't make sense to me. Hey, man, how you do that? Hey, man, say something. Let me know you came through. All right? So do what you do. Be who you be. And I'll see you before you see me. Today's broadcast is being brought to you by WokeSkipTracing.com. Look up phone numbers and email addresses with ease, with pricing as low as only 15 cents per match. Not per search, per match. If there's no number or email address, you don't pay. Get accurate data in just minutes. WokeSkipTracing.com. That's WokeSkipTracing.com.
and we have... And we have... And we have... Mr. I stay broke, broke, broke.